Hey guys, how's it going? I'm just going to have a quick look at some things I was sent from Chotex. So, first thing we have are your very nice braided 3-pack of Type-A USB to Type-C. As you can see here, the cables are very high quality. They're kind of similar to the uh, iOrange ones I bought for my Nexus 6P last year. I like how they have these nice metal ends here and these plastic connectors that lead to your braided cable here are actually quite well made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure these first have the proper 56k ohm resistor in them. So I'm going to plug it into a multimeter I have here, and conveniently enough, a Chotec Quick Charge 3.0 battery. So as you can see here, I have a multimeter. I'm going to turn this guy on. As you guys can see, it is now on. So I'm going to plug this USB-A cable in, and plug the C side into my Google Pixel XL, which as you can see right here is in the Spec Presidio case. This is by far my favorite case so far. I've tried the Google Clear one, which honestly I didn't like. I have an OtterBox Defender, Tech 21, and really this is just the best case so far. But anyway, I digress. Let me uh, plug this in here so we can see what it is reading at. Looks like the battery turned off, so I'm going to turn it back on. At most, I should be getting 1.5 amps because that's what it should charge at regardless. You shouldn't be pulling 3 amps or anything over 5 volts from an A to C cable per the USB spec. So, looks like we're getting just under an amp at 5 volts, which is perfectly fine. As long as it's not over that, that means it does have the proper resistor. And just to verify, I'm going to unplug this guy here. I'm going to plug in this stock Google cable that came with my phone. So let me plug this in. As you can see here, I'm going to plug in my Pixel. And it should just say charging slowly, so we're going to verify that. Or just charging. So if you guys can see there, it is just charging. It looks like we're pulling the same, roughly an amp. So that's good news here. Chotac made their cables correctly, just like a lot of companies have lately. I really appreciate their nice braided design. If you can see here, I mean, it is a very, very nice, high quality cable. Actually, I might go grab my eye orange one, but I can tell you it's the same quality, which means it's very good. And the best part is you get three of them in a pack. I mean, I'm always need USB cables. I mean, sometimes, you know, with micro USB, you end up just having a plethora of them. Well, with USB-C just coming about last year, it's nice to get a bunch of high-quality USB-C cables in a, you know, convenient package. So you get three of them, and they're all very well made, and, you know, there are 3.3 feet, or roughly a meter. So one thing I can say is I've owned many Chotec products over the years, and I've never really had an issue with them. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. You can look forward to my in-depth review over on XDA. Thank you.